when you get booked to DJ a wedding, first thing you wanna do is you want to speak with your client and figure out what type of music they're into. You don't want to treat two crowds the same um, or two audiences the same because what worked for one party might not necessarily work for the, the next party, right? So you definitely want to um, do a little bit of research, speak with your client and see uh, what kind of music they're into, if it's hip hop, R&B, reggae, or it's open format. Maybe what they can also do is they can provide you with a track listing of songs that they wanna hear and you can pretty much use that to give you a, a, an understanding of, of where the party is actually, what direction the party is gonna go and what you can actually um, get away with playing. You wanna set aside music for cocktail hour uh, where people are sitting down and just talking and mingling amongst themselves and you don't want to play anything too loud, too aggressive, you know, that's just like, you know, throwaway music that you, you don't really care about, you just, just set a, a, a nice mood, you know, so it's not, so it's not silent. Um, then you, you want to play whatever the, the latest hits are, uh, along with whatever was on that uh, sheet that they gave you or they emailed to you. When I get booked to, D to DJ a wedding, that's how I go about it. I'll speak with the client, organize my music, with whatever, along with whatever they gave me, and I'll set aside music, uh, put a lot of preparation before I get to the event. You don't wanna just kinda like freestyle it and just have be all over the place. You wanna have some kind of order. Uh, so definitely organize your music, become familiar, uh, familiar with what you have in your music folders and your libraries and have music for downtime, like when people are eating, and then also have music to get everyone on the dance floor, to get every, everyone going. There are some common rules. Uh, you definitely want to uh, not just assume that they're gonna like what you have. Uh, speaking to the client is very important. Um, so that's pretty much it. You know, that's how you organize music for a wedding.